So hey guys, this is your girl Miss Motivation. Hey family, how are you? I got a little video for you today. Um, not a food video, of course, but this is going to be about keeping something healthy that is all important to, that is all important, that's important to all of us, is basically what I want to say. But before we get into the video, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell on the side so that you can get notification of every video that I put up and out. And leave me a comment. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a sad face, a mean face, something. Just let me know what you think, how you feel about the content. Um, leave me a comment. I mean, if you can't write a paragraph or one sentence, leave me a heart, a smiley face. Come on, guys. You know, if I'm taking 10 minutes out of my time to give you a little bit of something, the least you can do after you watch my video or while you're watching it, because you don't only have to take any more of your time after the video is over, while you're watching the video, you can scroll up and get down there to that comment section. First, hit the like and then scroll up and then leave me a little comment. Be like, Miss Motivation, I like this girl. It was good. I use this uh, or whatever. We ain't going to make it too long with all of that because... Um, I have two videos that I have to get up for you guys today that I feel like, you know, that I just have to get them up, point blank. This one especially. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, so you know the weather is changing, right? And I told you I was going to come to you guys with the video during my um, black soap video. And basically about my other little secret thing that I use on my face while um, during the colder times of the year, fall and of course winter, especially because my skin is funny. I don't care how much water you drink uh, for me. I mean, it's because of my work environment and a fan that blows right in my face. So it's like, even if um, the wind is not catching my face, um, basically, I still feel like I'm, you know, I'm getting like a, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, chapped skin from the wind. You know what I'm saying? So, your girl has a DYI. And, um, something that I, um, when I was pregnant with my son, had did. Because my skin stayed so, it wasn't dry, it just felt so chapped. Like it needed a barrier of oil. And being that I am sensitive to a lot of things, I cannot use a lot of things on my face, then basically I have to use this other thing. And I'm going to tell you about it. So before we get into the video, if you're putting anything on your face, comb your hair up out of your face. Okay, guys? Now, I know I'm probably going to put this in here crooked, but I'm not trying to look cute. I'm just trying to get it pinned up. Okay? Yeah, it looks crazy, but I don't care. So, my, what I use, where's my other little thing? Uh-oh. Well, I do have this, so that makes it even better. Okay, I'm talking to myself, I know. Is vitamin E capsules. Yes, honey. For your face, for your skin. And one of my favorite remedies when it is winter time is that every day when I get off of work, because you know I work late, I do, I do third shifts, so that means when I get in here and take my shower, I'm going straight to bed. Well, one of my favorite things to do is to, and I'm going to show you, I take two capsules. You get, this is uh, Finest Nutrition Antioxidant Support. And you get 100 capsules in there. All you really need is two capsules per time. If you want to sums it down, sums it down, decrease it down to, <laughs> to uh, one, then that's, you know, you do it the way you feel like it. And I have a sewing needle. And I just take and put a little hole in it. And then I'll squeeze it out on my finger rub it with these three fingers and just blotch it around my face 
Now, before this video, if you see me and I, I look greasy, this is because I already did it. But I told myself, I told my family that I was going to let them know about this. So I cannot go on another day and not tell you about it. So, I blotted it around my face. And, you know, I got my little eye makeup on, so y'all not going, I'm not going over that. And just rub it in like you're giving your face a, a, a miniature massage, okay? Rub it in. Now, at night, when I put this, I do the same thing, and I lay down on it. Well, how do you sleep, Miss Motivation, on my back? Well, do you stay on your back the whole night? Yeah, I'm used to it, so... Now, if you can't do it, then, you know, I don't know. Put a towel over your pillow, something so that you can keep everything intact and the way it's supposed to be. But me, I'm so used to doing this that it doesn't bother me to, to sleep on my back at all. And I stay on my back because I already know. And I might turn to the side a little bit, you know. You know. You'll figure it out. But when it comes to not wanting chapped skin... You best believe this is a great remedy. Those were only, um, I got this actually from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. 100 capsules. Pure vitamin E. Nothing else. <clears throat> nothing else mixed. So, uh, why is good? Why is good? Why is vitamin E good for your skin? Because it's good for dry, flaky skin. It helps fine lines. It helps wrinkles. How do you think I look so good at 41, honey? <laughs> no. It ain't just because of the vitamin E. It's the good Lord, I guess. And then, you know, not living a rough life. Kind of easy. Easy going. Once I, once I got the feel of everything, and uh, I just let it all go. I'm not out in the streets like I was. You know, you're young. You're just exploring things so you just out there you getting toe up with your friends and maybe some of you wasn't because you're just you know good just the, you was a good girl or a good boy either way I was a bad girl you know I wasn't bad to where my mother had to go get me out of jail and you know just starting up trouble and stuff like that I just I went to the clubs uh, you know I drank like any teenager you know you just it's just what it was. But anyway, enough of that. We ain't getting ready to get into all that. But, so it's good for flaky, dry skin. Okay? It supports that. And uh, because of the moisturizing properties that's in it, it uh, helps to reduce itching, which we don't have that. Uh, it's good for eczema, and it's good for psoriasis, which those are really good. It uh, heals and minimizes scarring of the face. Now, let me tell you, child growing up, I used to have acne bad. Um, picking my face, busting pimples, you know, stuff like that. I hated it, okay? Nothing that the dermatologist gave me, it, would, it wouldn't help. Nothing. Finally, I got a little older, but bought me some proactive. The proactive mask helped my face tremendously. I don't use it anymore. I don't like using products that you have to continue to use in order for them to work. I don't know. Um, but with vitamin E being as potent as it is, you can apply it directly to your skin. It will not harm the skin. Now, if you've never used vitamin E, I would suggest you do a skin test. Put a little bit on your skin. Wait a couple of hours and see if how you looking. Because it could break you out in a rash, if, I guess, if you're not used to it. It is natural. But, everybody, I'm not a doctor. And I don't want to suggest something. And then you come back on my channel and tell me that your skin broke out to high heaven. And now it's falling off. Miss Motivation don't want that, okay? So, we're not going to do that. So, that's why anything that I put on here, this is stuff that I do, that I've experienced has not bothered me. I have sensitive skin, so that should tell you something. If I have sensitive skin and it hasn't bothered me, then, you know, it is what it is. But, so now, <clears throat> so take that in, you know, in consideration that 
you just have to make sure that anything you do, you test it, try it, little piece, and make sure that it's going to work for you or that you'll be all right, okay? Because this is your skin, and I definitely don't want to be following somebody on YouTube, trying something that they've said, and then break out to halves and be looking like the elephant man later on. No. Now, I do have a little bit of acne here. Now, sometimes if you ever see my skin at the top up here, it's not acne. I was in a bad car accident and the windshield glass went through my face. Well, as I was on the, um, the hospital bed, a uh, doctor, my doctor came in with this big old thing that looked like a grill scraper, okay? And I was like, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm going to get the glass out of your face. And I'm like, I got to looking at the bristles and it looked like the bristles was like a metal. I was like, no, no, you're no, 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 you're not. <laughs> no, I'll keep my glass because it looks like you're going to hurt me even worse than what I'm already hurting from the little bit of glass that's in my face. I'd rather keep it. So, of course, with me being hard-headed and not doing what the doctor asked, that's why I have a shortage of eyebrow where they don't grow because there's glass in there keeping it from growing. And um, up here on my forehead, I have a little bit of just some slight little uh, bumps. Looks like that. Then they may look like a little heat bump or whatever, but nothing major. Other than that, my skin is pretty flawless, I, I, I would say. And I do because I do take good care of my skin. I don't put a lot of soaps on it and stuff like that. Um, so, but I've not always had skin like this, okay? Like I said, I used to have a lot of acne, a lot of scarring. It looked bad. I mean, I hated it. That was just one of my, my things when I was younger. You know, I really didn't like it, so. But now, every now and then, when Mother Nature hits, you know, I get a bump here and there. And if I touch my face... And uh, my hands may be dirty or I haven't washed them, then that's another. So, oh, let me get my little bar of black soap. And what we're going to do, we're not going to do a scrub me down, wash your face, wash it off like that, okay? We're not going to do that. Just very lightly. Because I don't want to be oily, but I don't want to be dry. Which the soap does not dry your face out, but. To be on the safe side. Now this is black soap, lemongrass, and I think aloe in this bar of soap, which I love it. And it smells so good. If you know what lemongrass smells like, then you would definitely love this. So give it one more pat down because you want to make sure you didn't leave any soap behind, which the oil is going to protect you anyway. It's still, you can feel it. It's still there, which is what I like. So, I'm going to do that. And we're going to get these, uh, these, uh, bags under these eyes. You know, third shift and not sleeping like you're supposed to. You might get a little bags or whatever under there. Or we can right fix it. And I love to put my makeup on after I've done this because my makeup, it looks so smooth and flawless. I just love it. Miss Motivation, why don't you use an egg? Well, I don't like them. Um, to be honest, I was taught that sponges hold a lot of bacteria. And that's basically what that little thing is. It's like a little sponge. And I just, if I can do it with my finger, I don't need all the extra. I do believe I did get on here one time and did a little video with you guys with that. With my makeup. But, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed. I mean, it didn't do anything that I can't do with my fingers, like I was saying. It just didn't. So, I just feel like, you know, why waste your money? 
but other people may like it. They might not want to deal with all that. Now, we're going to put a little bit of foundation. Oh, I love the way it feels. A dot here and a dot there. Because you want to look as natural as possible. You don't want to look all caked up. The one thing I hate to see on a woman that wears makeup is her makeup is caked up and it's dry looking. That, I, I it just does something to me. It really does. Because I'm like, why you put that makeup on and not either spray a little water on your face, take your hand and put it in water before you apply that and then lay your makeup on your fingertips. It's really, it's not as hard as everybody thinks, but people just don't do it because they really don't take the time. They don't want to. Okay. So that little concealer, we're going to get this one. Now, because this isn't a makeup tutorial, I'm not <laughs> going to tell you what this stuff is that I'm using, but if you really must know, this is Dermal Blend. This is Burn Victim Makeup. And you're wondering, like, why are you using it? Because I love it. When I say it conceals to the to the heavens or to the gods, as people say, it conceals to the gods, honey. To the gods. That means it conceals to the heavens. <laughs> yes. I don't know that uh, the camera over there Makes my skin look horrible. Mm -hmm. We don't like that. I don't. Maybe it's the lighting. And I don't know. Who knows? A little bit of powder set that area. Keep it from getting too oily. You know? see if you feel like this is what you do you feel like your makeup is getting dry oh don't let it okay dip your finger back in your concealer Neighbors got their music up, honey. I can hear it. And throw that powder on there. Thank God for whoever created all this stuff for women. Now, yeah, it looks better. Mm. Mm -hmm. If it's looking too oily, you know what I mean? Take your washcloth, okay? Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. Not really the makeup part, but oh well. And so I'm going to get myself together. And um, I'll see you in my next video. So this is Miss Motivation, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, look at that. There we go.
Yeah, I haven't got my concealer off there yet. I'm not done. But yeah, so I need to finish up and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? I love you. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell on the side for notifications, and I'll see you in my next video.